Hello and welcome to the Womb Care Castor Oil Therapy Workshop. My name is Heather Rodriguez and I'm so excited to be talking with you today about castor oil therapy and how you can use it to help support your reproductive health. So let's go ahead and get started. So my mission at Natural Fertility Company is to really to inspire, educate, and empower you to use different therapies for self-care in order to help you support your reproductive health. There are so many things we can do to naturally support our health, and I want to make sure you know how to use them and how powerful they can be. And that's why this workshop exists for castor oil therapy, because it is such an amazing therapy for reproductive health. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's talk about what is castor oil and what is the castor oil therapy. So the castor oil plant has been used as a natural therapy for over 4,000 years. It's been found in Egyptian tombs. In earlier times, it was known as Palma Christi because they, the plant's leaves were thought to have miraculous therapeutic powers. In the mid-late uh, 1900s, castor oil therapy was popularized by Edgar Cayce, and it has been popular ever since. What we're going to be covering in this workshop is the external use of castor oil therapy through castor oil packs, but there are other uses for internal use, but the ones we'll be covering today are all for external purposes. So how do castor oil packs promote healing? They work on the lymphatic system to help remove toxins and waste from the body. So the lymphatic system, something that's really interesting about that is you have to physically move in order for the lymph to pump. It's like a manual pump. But castor oil has the ability to contract and make the lymph move on its own. So it is one of the only things that can do that besides you moving and exercising and jumping around. Uh, it also works through the circulatory system by promoting circulation, especially specifically to the uterus, um, helping to bring fresh oxygenated nutrient rich blood to the reproductive organs, uterus, fallopian tubes and ovaries. And also castor oil can have an effect on the liver. So the liver is known as our chemical processing plant. It removes an excess hormones, drugs, chemicals, biologically active molecules from the blood. And we want to support it in that action because it's really important for hormonal balance. So castor oil is known for increasing circulation, softening and breaking down scar tissue. It stimulates detoxification. It stimulates lymph drainage, it reduces inflammation, and it's very supportive for breast health. So we're going to talk a little bit about how it's actually able to do this. So the science of castor oil is there is a specific compound that makes up 90% of the castor oil and it's ricinolytic acid. And this is how we're able to get all of these effects. So one of the things it does is it can help with pain relief and has anti-inflammatory effects. And this is amazing for like joint pain, menstrual cramps, uh, discomforts around ovulation. But studies have shown that castor oil has the ability to reduce uh, inflammation and swelling when applied topically. And that's because of its effect on the prostaglandins. All of these benefits are because of this one effect. So castor oil can bind to prostaglandin receptor sites and the good receptor sites that we want to be stimulated. So this is what is going to account for its ability to increase circulation to the uterus and to stimulate the uterus to contract specifically. And this is also why this is a very popular remedy for overdue pregnancy and why we won't be doing castor oil packs after ovulation. So in the luteal phase, I suggest to not do castor oil packs because it has this amazing ability. It also, like we spoke about, increases lymphocyte production and liver support. So there was another study that showed that for uh, when the when castor oil was used over the liver for two hours, this resulted in increase in the immune system. Um, and it also was able to increase the liver function. And this was seen for the next 24 hours. Also, castor oil has been used in beauty for a very long time, and there's a lot of great reasons for that. It's deeply moisturizing, but it permeates through the epidermal barrier. So this is the first layer of skin. Due to its molecular weight, it's able to go in through the dermis, past it into the blood and the lymph vessels, where they are housed. So this allows castor oil to penetrate deep into scar tissue and allow new cells to generate. So this is one of the only carrier oils that I've ever known that can do this internally, which is really exciting for those of you experiencing black fallopian tubes, scar tissue within the uterus, the cervix. 
any types of tissues that you want to soften so that it's easier for the body to deal with them and getting them out of there. So castor oil is a supportive natural therapy for a lot of different fertility and reproductive health categories. It, it's very supportive of cramps and periods that might be uncomfortable or sluggish periods or really heavy periods. Also very supportive for uterine fibroids and ovarian cysts. It's amazing for uterine health, definitely great for breast health, amazing for fallopian tube health for a lot of the reasons we talked about, decreasing inflammation, helping to soften scar tissue and increasing circulation to the area. Great for digestion and elimination. If you're someone who tends to be constipated, this is going to be a great uh, side effect <laughs> benefit for you. Fantastic for immune system support, general detoxification and liver support, uh, softening of scar tissue and adhesions, supportive for ovarian and egg health. If you're wanting to support egg health, definitely include this in your program. Amazing for endometriosis and for helping to increase circulation. So who can't benefit from that? So castor oil packs are simple and effective. They're something that can be done at home. They can be used three to five times per week and can help to support a lot of different systems and organs in, of the body. But we're going to specifically use them in a couple of different areas for reproductive health. Castor oil packs can be used with or without heat, uh, standing or lying down. And we're going to talk about how you can do that. And I have a way to make using castor oil packs much easier than they have been in the past. So something about castor oil packs is consistent use is extremely important. In studies, it was found that castor oil benefits could be detected in the system up to 24 hours of application, but then the results dissipated. So to get the type of de desired results you're going to want, you're going to need to consistently use castor oil packs for a period of time. This is one of the reasons I, I suggest to do it at least four days in a row during a week so you can have this accumulative effect and then you might obviously have to use it more long term for the benefits depending on what you're wanting there are some cautions and side effects castor oil packs should not be placed on open wounds or cuts of the body heated castor oil packs should not be used during pregnancy or without a practitioner support because or any type of castor oil pack because of that ability for it to contract the uterus we don't want to be using these during pregnancy castor oil should not be taken internally without practitioner support and castor oil packs should not be used during menstruation if you have heavy flow or it's gonna if it starts stimulating your flow to be too heavy now here's a side note in the past i used to say to not use castor oil packs during a period but I believe that the benefits that can be had during a period are too great. Um, and it would be very beneficial for those experiencing cramps, uncomfortableness, uh, sluggish periods. There's a lot of benefits. So the only time that I would not use a castor oil pack during your period, <clears throat> excuse me, is if you have a very heavy flow and you notice that when you're using that castor oil pack, it makes it flow even more. So that would be the time that I would not do that. Um, castor oil can also stain your clothing. So be careful not to get it on, on, of your, on, on any of your clothing. It is a very sticky oil. It's kind of deceiving because it's called an oil, but it's very thick, very, very thick and very sticky. So that's why we use them in packs and we don't just rub the oil on our bodies like we would in essential oil blend or almond oil or something. When you begin using castor oil packs, you might experience loose stools. This is very normal. Um, you also might experience detoxification symptoms such as headaches or you just feel a little bit tired, a little bit cranky. This is totally normal and expected. This is a sign of detoxification. So just drink more water and uh, rest a little bit more. You also may feel increased circulation and heat to your reproductive system. This is normal and what you want to happen. Okay, so now we're gonna be talking about essential oils for castor oil therapy. So one of the things that I've done and that I is what, what that I've done that takes castor oil packs to the next level and I feel makes them therapeutic is I've combined them with organic therapeutic essential oils. So we have all the benefits of the castor oil and now we're combining it with these amazing compounds distilled from plants. So essential oils are such a great way to make the castor oil have a very specific purpose. So like castor oil, essential oils are absorbed through the skin and can provide support for the reproductive health as, long, as well as a lot of other systems in the body. By combining the two, the castor oil is now a therapeutic castor oil and it is able to pull the essential oils even deeper into the body because of its low molecular weight. So if you want something to be 
guaranteed to be pulled into the body. You mix it with cash oil. So we've done that with the essential oils. Okay, so let's do a little essential oils 101. So aromatherapy is the art of using essential oils in a therapeutic way to support the body and support the mind. Including aromatherapy in your fertility program can add so much to it. Aromatherapy is one of my absolute favorite ways to use herbs and plants because it's pleasurable, they're extremely effective, they're easy to use. Essential oils have been shown to be able to assist with hormonal balance, inflammation reduction, stress relief, healing promotion, and immune system boosting. They're super easy to apply, and I've made it even easier for you to know which essential oils are going to be right for you during what phase of your cycle. So there's a couple things that you need to know before you start using essential oils. This is very important. So quality, using high quality essential oils is essential for achieving the desired results that you're looking for. You can't just use any oil that you buy from any store and expect to have results. Yes, they may all smell good, but they're not going to have the therapeutic benefits that you're looking for. Quality essential oils are extracted in a very specific way that preserves the purity and the potency of that particular plant. So this will ensure that they're going to contain the therapeutic properties that you are looking for. It's also very, very, very important to avoid using essential oils that are actually synthetic fragrances. Synthetic fragrances are generally made from phthalates, and phthalates are one of the top known endocrine disruptors. So these are substances that mimic hormones in our bodies, and they do so in a very bad way. So this is an area where you want to make sure what you're using is pure and is not a synthetic fragrance. When combining castor oil and essential oils, it is also extremely important that both of the ingredients, both the castor oil and essential oils are of the highest quality because they will be pulled into the body and you will be doing them on a very regular basis. So their benefits are going to compound and you want to make sure you have the highest quality. It's super important. So testing. So how do you determine if essential oil is of high quality? So it's, it's important to consider the following. Source, look for essential oils that come from reputable sources that can trace the oil back to the plant on the farm that it was extracted from. Purity, uh, quality essential oils are tested for purity to make sure they're not mixed with any fragrances like we spoke about. And there's also third-party testing that happens for potency as well as purity. And this ensures that the therapeutic properties that are that plant is known for are present. So all of the essential oils that we use in womb care, which we're going to talk about here in just a minute, are and our Fertilica essential oil blends are 100% organic and therapeutic grade essential oils that have been through all of this testing I just spoke about. So you know that you're getting something that is safe and effective and that is appropriate to be using while you're trying to conceive. Okay, so last about essential oils is going to be safety. Now, it's really important that you also uh, safely use essential oils. And what this means is when you're using something that's going to be transdermally applied, so it's going to be absorbed into the skin, which is my preferred method when it comes to reproductive health, they you need to make sure that you're using them in a proper dilution. So essential oils are highly concentrated and can cause skin irritation or other adverse reactions if they're not properly diluted. So you wouldn't take a straight essential oil and just dump it on your skin like you would olive oil or grapeseed oil or something that you're moisturizing with. It's recommended to always dilute essential oils with a carrier oil. So in our case, it will be castor oil for the wound care and it'll be jojoba oil for the Fertilica essential oil blends. Now, something else to know is that more is not better. So especially when you're working for hormones, hormonal support detoxification, you don't want to use more than what is suggested because there's no need for it and you can't overdo it. So for those who are actively trying to conceive, it's important to use essential oils that are safe for pregnancy during the two week wait. Some essential oils can have a negative effect and a negative impact on a developing fetus and should be avoided during pregnancy. So our fertilica uh, womb care castor oil and essential oil blends have precise formulation for dilution to ensure both safety and effectiveness. And they're designed to support different phases of the fertility cycle with the correct essential oils. So the womb care castor oil blend would not be used after ovulation. Okay. So, cause it is a blend you would not use during pregnancy. Now I have another program called drop cycle method, which has different essential oil blends we use that do have some that you can use during that time, but that is a totally different workshop. Okay, so let's talk about the essential oils that I love for castor oil therapy and that I have included in womb care. 
So Cypress. Cypress is one of my favorite essential oils this year. It's kind of one of those ones under the radar. You maybe have never even heard of it, but this is a wonderful evergreen tree that is very cleansing and clearing. It's detoxifying. It has healing. It's healing for the body. It reduces inflammation, increases circulation, and it's very calming, but it does the cleansing and the clearing in a very gentle way. So this is something that can be used daily. Lavender for her calming and as a circulatory stimulant and lavender is known to be very hormone balancing. I've included ginger for its warming and circulatory benefits. It's also a gentle detoxifier and an antioxidant. And sweet, sweet orange, which has an uplifting aroma and is known for reducing inflammation, promoting circulation, and helping to support the immune system. And copaiba, this is an amazing resin. I like to use a resin in each of my blends to help ground us. And it's very calming oil, which helps to increase circulation and has also been known to help to reduce and dull discomforts like pain. And then we have sacred frankincense. So frankincense is incredible. You'll see it in a lot of my blends. It helps to regulate the menstrual cycle and reduce hormone fluctuations. And frankincense is just one of those special oils that has a special uh, energy to them, very calming. Okay, so how do you use a castor oil pack? How do you do a castor oil pack? I have a separate video where I'm going to physically show you, but now I'm just right now I'm just going to talk you through it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your castor oil, castor oil flannel, and a castor oil wrap. So this is our Fertilica Womb Care Therapeutic Castor Oil. Now, when you're looking for a castor oil, you want to buy the highest quality like I talked about, especially when it comes to reproductive support. Womb Care Therapeutic Castor Oil is made with 100% organic ingredients. It's hexane and chemical free, and it has amazing essential oils infused into the formula. So this is, I've been working on this, this blend for about two years. I've been wanting to have a therapeutic castor oil for you guys. So I'm so excited to now have this out in the world. Remember to avoid synthetic essential oils at all costs. Many are diluted and made with fragrances, which are known endocrine disruptors. So I know I'm repeating myself, but it is really, really important. We talked about the essential oils that are in this blend. So that's all mixed up and ready for you to go. Then you're gonna need an organic cotton flannel. We have one um, in the shop that's 100% organic. And I like to use this flannel because you don't want your castor oil to get all over your clothes or your bed because it stains and it's just a huge mess. So the cotton flannel is where you will actually pour the castor oil onto and, and it'll be directly touching your skin. You don't need to wash this flannel after every use. You can just store it and it's reusable for about a month or two. And then you would just get a new one. So you wouldn't want to wash this. It's going to mess up your washing machine. And you also don't want to share your wrap. For instance, uh, my children also do castor oil wraps in our family and they each have their own flannel. So we don't share that. Now the castor oil wrap. So this is what makes doing castor oil packs so easy because you can put this wrap on and then you can just walk around. So this is a 100% organic cotton and bamboo castor oil wrap. It's a hand-free wrap that is designed to hold your castor oil pack in place on your body so that you can be doing your castor oil therapy without having to lie down like we used to for hours at a time or wrap yourself up in plastic, which kind of sounds counterintuitive for our purposes, right? So our wrap is fully adjustable and comfortable enough to wear around the house or while you're sleeping. So I put mine on, I'll put it on and then take my dogs for a walk. Sometimes I put it on and I sleep in it for the night. Uh, it just makes being consistent with your castor oil packs so easy. So this is just so exciting. It's made from organic bamboo and um, organic cotton. Um, it's hyperallergenic. There's no dyes or chemicals. It's double layered, so it, it's helping to prevent leakage. And there is no need to wash this because you're using the organic flannel against your skin. And this is just working as a wrap outside of it to hold it on. Okay, so here's the quick step. Step one, you're going to prepare your castor oil pack, get all the supplies that you need. You're going to saturate your flannel with the castor oil. So I use one to two tablespoons of womb care castor oil on there. It should be soaked, but not dripping. And then you place it where you want it. So on the womb, over the liver, on the breast, wherever it is that you're going to place it. And then you enjoy your castor oil pack for 30 to 60 minutes, three to five times per week. I like to do them back to back. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever it is, and then take a break. 
Step four is when you're done with your castor oil pack, you're going to wipe and clean your skin off. I just use wipes, but you can use soap or whatever it is just to get that castor oil that might be still there off so you don't get any castor oil on your clothing. And this is now a great time to do self-fertility massage or do drop cycle method because you're so relaxed at this point. And then you can store your castor oil pack back in the bag that the wrap came in, or you could put it uh, in a jar, however it is that you want to store it. And then you would just replace it after one, one and a half to two months. And then just stay consistent and make notes of any changes that you see. So the Womb Care Castor Oil Kit is available at Natural Fertility Shop. If you're watching this, you probably have it. So let's go on to some other side uses of the, the Womb Care Therapeutic Castor Oil. So thyroid support. This is another way that you can use castor oil packs. You can use them on your th throat to help support detoxification of the, the throat area. So lymphatic drainage, um, normal detoxification of the thyroid tissue, increasing circulation to this area, reducing inflammation of the thyroid gland. You can combine it with Fertiliclear, our essential oil blend for cleansing and clearing, and do a castor oil pack that way. You can also use it for breast support. Now, I feel that this is a topic that needs to be talked about a lot more, so I'm going to be talking more about it. Uh, but I love to combine Fertiliclear with wound care and do a castor oil pack on the breasts. And this can be done, again, three to four times per week. And it helps with lymphatic drainage of the breast area, normal detoxification of the breast tissue, and again, increasing circulation and reducing inflammation of that area. Now, you have to remember that the fatty tissues in the body is where we store a lot of different things. So toxins, heavy metals, um, excess hormones, xenoestrogens, those types of things will be stored in the fat. So it's really great to also do packs on, on the breast tissue. Okay, so some common questions that we have. What times of the month can I use castor oil? Wound, castor oil, uh, wound care castor oil can be used all month long, including during your period. But if you are actively trying to conceive, you would just stop after ovulation. And then if you get a period again and you happen to not be pregnant that cycle, you can start them up again. Now, if you are working on something, say you're working on fallopian tube health or uterine fibroids, honestly, it would be ideal if you could take a period of time, take a pause from trying to conceive so that you can do these therapies all month long and really get on it. So you can be doing them for a whole month instead of having to take a break every two weeks and every two weeks. So that's just, you know, my opinion on that is taking some time to heal first so that you can get more, be more effective with your time. Castor oil packs and preparing for IVF. So castor oil packs are great to use in preparation for IVF. The only thing to think about is you would not want to use them after you've started injectables because you would have open, you know, you've been injecting into your belly. So you wouldn't want to put castor oil on those sites where you've been injecting. Can you use castor oil packs during pregnancy? No, please don't. They're very stimulating to the uterus. Can you combine castor oil with medications? Through the research, um, I looked and looked, and castor oil therapy has been found to be safe with medications, but always check with your doctor. Can castor oil packs be used during the fertility cleanse? Yes, this would be amazing to combine with your fertility cleanse. Okay, so I also want to let you know, uh, included in this section, if you move on to the next video, is some bonus material. It's an introduction to drop cycle method, which is another self-care therapy that's amazing for helping to promote a healthy fertility cycle and a regular cycle. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested in the introduction. But I thank you so much for joining me today. And I can't wait to hear how you're doing with your castor oil, plaque, castor oil packs. Please stay in touch. I would love to hear your results.